Hi everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so the products that I use can be purchased from Stampin' Up! at my website that's at the top of the screen, and it's also linked below. The, this bundle that I'm using right now is available on May 1st, uh, 4th, I'm sorry, May 4th, and also the um, in color DSP is also available on May 4th along with the stylus shape dies. So I'm just giving you a sneak peek of what's going to be available. I've already done, done one with the sweet songbirds, but um, I could only order a little bit. I have a little bit more coming, um, but I wanted to show you another way to use this. Um, I'm using again the new in color. DSP. This is also going to be the, sh the patterns for all of the regular colors. All right, so we have a plaid and polka dots on the other side. And also we have the lines. And they're lines, but they also have, you know, you're not going to be able to pick it up, little diagonal, very light diagonal lines in, within each line. And the other side is the flowers, which we're going to be using today. Alrighty, so that's what all of the in co the color DSP is going to be. And of course, this is Sweet Sorbet, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, Parakeet Party, and Orchid Oasis. Oh, wait, this is Orchid Oasis, sorry, and this one here is Starry Sky. All right, so those are the in colors and the new six by six DSP patterns. Okay, I'm using the Sweet Songbird stamp set, the Songbird Builder Punch that comes as a bundle. You get 10% off if you buy the bundle. I'm using the layering circle dies for the scallop and for the stitched circle, I'm using the stylus shape dies and I'll tell you in a little bit what size that is. Um, I also used the some of the Tahitian Tide cardstock and some Crumb Cake cardstock also. All right, and what I did with this is it's a belly band on this box, and this one flips up, and inside there are some hair bands. Now these are um, not the actual Invisibobbles which are, I think, $6.99 for four of them. This is a, um, a different brand that I actually got from Marshalls. This Ray Dunn Get Cute jar, I think it was originally $14.99. I got it for $6 on clearance. And I have short hair, so I don't use these. But And one of my daughters likes them. The other one, I'm not sure. I think she likes these. Um, but I thought this was a perfect little gift for um, a get-together of, of people who use these. <laughs> but apparently they don't make bumps in your ponytail when you use them like a regular rubber band does. All right, so that's what it, what's in it. And I also did the little bird in the inside and the fence. And I'm just going to switch up the sentiment and the, the notes a little bit when we do it. But I didn't know, well, I was trying to figure out what this is here, and I turned it to its side, and I'm like, it looks like a fence. I don't know if that's what it was supposed to be intended for, but that's what I'm going to use it for. Alrighty. Okay, so let me show you what we need. Okay, we need a piece of Tahitian Tide that is nine and a half by five and three quarters. We need another piece for the belly band that is one by eight and a half. We need some basic white for stamping. And also for the inside, we need a piece that we're gonna stamp on, but we're actually using this as the background. That is three and a half by two and a quarter. We need a scrap of crumb cake and a scrap of melon mambo. Okay, so now we need, from the stylish shape dies, we need out of basic white, one that is two and one eighth, and from the layering circle dies, one out of Tahitian Tide that is two and a quarter. Okay, and then we need 
three pieces of the Tahitian Tide DSP that is three and a half by two and a quarter, two pieces that are three and a half by three quarters, and two pieces that are three quarters by two and a quarter. All right, and all of this will be on my website. Okay, so now we just need our nine and a half by five and three quarter piece of Tahitian Tide. I'm sorry about missing Mondays the last couple of weeks. We had Easter and then we had birthdays this weekend. So I will eventually get back to my Monday, but I was really busy both days on the weekend. So sorry about that. But I will have another one tomorrow for you. So I have to keep up with the three a week. All right. So we're going to start on the nine and a half inch side and we're going to score at two and a half. Ooh, darn. Two and a half three and a half, six, and seven. And we're gonna turn it to the five and three quarter side and we're going to score at one and at four and three quarters. Right, and that's it. Okay, now I'm just gonna fold and burnish, but first I'm just gonna to try to fix a little bit that piece where I ran off. Now, we have three equal parts here in the middle here. These rectangles are all equal. And we have a one inch strip at the top and a one inch strip at the bottom. That's how it's facing right now. And what we're gonna do is this, okay? So it doesn't matter if your car sock is this way or this way because it is symmetrical. All right, as long as you keep it one way as you start, you keep cutting. All right, well, how we're gonna start, let's see, let's start like this. Sorry about that. Um, so the, the rectangles are long ways here and you have a one inch strip on the left and on the right. All righty, and what we're gonna do is start on the bottom left and we're gonna go to the first score line and we're going to cut it straight up to the second score line. All right, and then get that bottom rectangle off and then wedge both sides of the square. Now this is the top of our box and this is the front flap. So we're gonna to go to the other side of this big rectangle here and go to this score line here and we're gonna cut that one up to the second score line. We're gonna get rid of this bottom rectangle and we're gonna wedge both sides of the square. Oops, I screwed that up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to turn it so that our flap is on the right hand side and all we're going to do is cut both sides of these two rectangles straight to the first score line and then wedge both sides of the square in the middle. Then we'll just turn it 180 so that your flap is on the left hand side and all you're going to be doing is the same thing. Cut both sides of the two rectangles straight to the first score line and then wedge the square in the middle. Now this is what your cardstock should look like either way. I'm not sure which way. I already took the picture. So um, this is what it should look like after you've done scoring it and cutting it. All right, now we need some tear and tape and we're going to put it to, this is the outside of the box and we're gonna put a piece close to the score line on the tab and one up 
close to the edge on both of these side tabs here. Okay, I'm going to get my take your pick tool and I'm going to take the backing off. And what we want to do is we want to attach the tab to the side that has our flap attached. Okay, so we're going to take the score line on the tab and make it straight with the edge of the rectangle. Okay, so it's all attached to the part that has the flap. Okay, now this is what it looks like. And then these little tabs are just going to go in so they keep our flap from pushing in too far. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on these two rectangles here, liquid glue. Okay. What we're going to shoot for is that the bottom of the rectangle here is straight with this, and this back piece is straight with the back. All right, so we'll just push that on on one side, kind of get it nice, and then pull the other side over and get that one nice. And then just keep checking it until it's set because the other side could move on you. Okay, and that is our box. Alrighty. Okay, now let's put our DSP on. I know a lot of people have been asking me why I put my DSP on after I put the box together. Um, I just always did it that way. Um, also, if I screw the box up, I don't want to waste my DSP <laughs> in case that um, I made a wrong something. So I don't want to put it on before I put my box together. All right, so we have three pieces of the Tahitian Thai DSP that are three and a half by two and a quarter. And they're gonna go on the front, on the inside, and on the back. You don't have to do the inside and the back ones if you don't want to. Okay, so then that would just be down to the one for the front. I'm gonna use liquid glue to put those on. Okay, and then the two pieces that are three quarters by, I'm sorry, three and a half by three quarters are going to go on that top piece and the bottom piece because a lot of times this isn't standing up like that. So you'll see this piece here when it's laying down. So I put it on both. And lastly, the two pieces that are three quarters by two and a quarter on both sides. Okay, now we're just gonna let that dry. And remember the inside does not have anything on it yet because we're gonna do our stamping. All right, so let's do our front bird here. And we're using a bunch we're using nine of these stamps, All right? So right now we're going to be doing this big bird here in Daffodil Delight. Great. Okay, and then we need two of the little teardrop looking for the two wings, and I'm going to make them in... 
Daffodil Delight also. Okay. Okay. And now we need some Tuxedo Black and the little eyes. I'm using the eyes that are little kind of half circles. You could also use the dot ones if you'd like. And some Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm just going to put them a little bit above the mouth. Okay, now you can stamp the mouth. I would use Mango Melody ink, but it's it's hard for me to get it in there. Um, it, I I kind of go all over. I guess when, if you used your stamping uh, stamparatus, it would probably go nicely. All right, so just for now, I'm gonna stamp out. I'm gonna oops, punch out my big songbird with the. Songbird Builder Punch, and I just need to trim a little bit right here. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. I'm not going to do the belly. I'm going to leave the belly white. You can stamp it. And you can cut it out, but I'm just going to leave it white for this project. All right, and then I'm going to cut out these two wings. Maybe. Now we're going to do our nest with our piece of crumb cake and we're going to be using crumb cake ink also so the nest is right here okay and I'm just doing crumb cake on crumb cake ink uh, crumb cake ink on crumb cake cardstock great and this I'm going to have to fussy cut And while we have our crumb cake out, we're going to get our piece of basic white that is three and a half by two and a quarter. I'm going to get some scrap paper. And I'm going to put it underneath the bottom. All right, and we're going to be using this fence piece right here, and it's going to be turned this way. All righty. Okay, and again, I'm going to be using the crumb cake ink. And I'm only going to be, let me see about what I did. Yeah, about a half an inch from the bottom up. So decide which side you like. And they're pretty much the same, I think. And I'm just going to be doing about a half an inch. And they don't have to touch. And they're going to just be like fin fence posts. I did them a little bit farther apart this time, I think, than I did. And they're kind of going up and down, but that's okay. All right, now that's our fence. Now, I want to do our little songbird, which isn't in the punch. All right, that's this one, and it faces the opposite way as the big one. And we're going to use Again, Daffodil Delight, and what I want to do is I want to put it so that the tail is almost at the end and then put it up almost a half an inch from the fence because we want to be able to fit our feet in there. Or you could do the feet first if you want to. All right. All right, so that's the bird. And now we need the little feet. I think there's only one set of... Oh, no, there's two. We're going to use these, the one that looks like kind of it's kicking up a little bit. And I'm going to use Tuxedo Black ink for that. I'm just going to try to get it onto the fence, kind of, and right at the bottom of the bird. Okay. Now, I need the little eyes again. I'm going to use the same eyes. Okay. 
Okay. And then this time I'm going to do the, this time back here I put the sentiment down low. I'm going to put the sentiment up high and I'm going to be using polished pink ink. But first, let me just see if I like how it's going to be. And it is so happy you're here. Let's just put this on here and see if we like it. Yeah, because the front has that little accent of a polished pink flower, so I wanted something on this. I'm going to put it right up at the top. So happy you're here. Great. And then I'm going to use Tuxedo Black ink for the music notes. You could do these in a different color too if you want. I'm going to put one set lower and one set a little higher. All right. And that's our inside piece. So that's going to just go right in here. So I'm just going to get my glue. I'm going to put this right on the inside and that will cover up nicely where I went off the track with scoring. Okay, and then we're going to take the wing. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, and then we need our little piece of Melon Mambo and the punch again and we need to do two of the beaks okay and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just put a little teeny dot of glue right on where the the beak's gonna go not too much and then i'll use my take your pick tool I'm just going to place it right where it goes, right over that white area. Oops. Okay, you could also use your silicone mat and get a little bit of ink. All right, now before we do these, we could do the, the beak on the big one too. Oops. I'm just going to take a little bit off. There we go. And put that beak right on there. Now we need to fussy cut our nest out and I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of bumpiness around where the edge is but it's not really too hard. You can do it smoothly if you want to. Make it a little bit more quickly. Now we need our two circles. Now this circle from the style of shapes dies is two and one eighth. And the Tahitian tied one is from layering circle dies, it's two and one quarter. And how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put I'm gonna put glue only on the bottom half of the back of the nest and I'm going to sit it right down almost to the bottom of the basic white circle and then as quickly as I can I'm going to put glue on the bird. You don't have to do it on the tip of the tail because that sticks off as does the top of the bird's head. Okay, now we have that. All right, now we can put the wing on the bird, on the outside bird. I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay, all right, now we need that dry and we need 
out of box. This is the one that I'm finished with. Nope, this is the new one. <laughs> okay. And we need our strip of Tahitian Tide that is about one, it's one by about eight and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle of the middle of the box here. Let's fix this here. It's a little off. There we go. Okay. And then just round the corner and just make a little mark around the other corner, make a mark and continue it until you get back to the front. All right, and then we're just gonna take it off and we're going to sharpen. Just make sure that it's all even and sharpen those marks with the bone folder. This did come out a little bit even long. It's eight and a half, so maybe eight and a quarter. Okay. What we want to do is wrap it around, and then we're just going to put a dab of glue. We don't want to squeeze this too tight because then it won't come on and off. So I'm just going to put a little dab of glue on the part that's on the top, not towards the sides because we don't want it to squeeze out onto the box. And you want it to be a little bit loose. Just hold it for a second and then whoop, until it's kind of dry but it's still movable. I'm going to just take it off oh well and then you can see where the glue is put it back on and hold it and I put a little bit too much glue so I'm just gonna take it off just make sure it stays straight No danger of any glue getting on our box. I'm going to put it back on and make sure that it slides. Like it's secure, but that it will slide. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's nice. Gently take it back off. Slide it back. Just like that. And then I'm going to put glue on it. And then just put our bird right over the middle where the, the seam is. And just, just make it even from top to bottom and make sure it's in the middle. Just hold that there. Slip it on. Make sure everything's good. My birdie is just a little bit crooked, so I'm going to try to get it. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, we're good. No glue. Okay. Then I'm going to get a loose flower flourish. One of the largest of the polished pinks. Okay, I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to push my polished pink flower onto it. And I'm just going to put it right on the top of the bird's head. Okay. Then I'm going to get some linen thread and I'm going to tie a small bow. Here I have about 12 inches 
fold it in half. Okay, I wasted a bit. I it's just hard to make a small bow with my big fingers, <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, I'm gonna cut it more than that, but first I'm just gonna take it between two fingernails and just kind of pull it so that it will go straight, kind of curved but not sticking all over. Okay, I'll trim it a little more. Okay, I'm just gonna put it right on the front of the nest with a dot of glue. I'm gonna put the glue on the back of the bow and I'm just gonna kind of move it around till it soaks in just a little bit and then I'm gonna put it right there. All right, and that's it. You have one that is on the inside and one that's on the outside. I think they're so cute. All right, if you have any questions, uh, my email is below. My uh, address for my website is below. The address to my blog. And if you want to know about any of the sales and things that are happening at Stampin' Up, I will list it on my Facebook page, which is in the pink designs by Catherine Papercraft Group. And also you can sign up f to have me as your demonstrator and opt in, and then I'll be able to email you things for sales and such. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining. Remember my blog address is below. Um, have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.